Hey everybody, it's Pokey. So for the continuation, this is part three of the Daily Challenge 10 for um, fandom. Um, this one I'm going to talk about comic books. So uh, I didn't really grow up with comic books, honestly. Um, my dad wasn't like the biggest fan of them. He wasn't the big, I mean like he enjoyed them and he enjoyed like books occasionally, but he was never really much of a reader. Like I mean, he could read, like he could read very well. <laughs> His reading level was pretty pretty high, but um, you know, cause you know, big picture with big crayons kind of guy, cause you know, engineer, yay, <laughs> he'd been uh, working for Northrop Grumman for decades. So anyway, um, but he just never really had the time. Um, he, it's not like he said no to comics, I guess, but my mom was never into comics. That was more my uncle Jeff, her older brother, um, the one I talked about in my last video, who had uh, passed from cancer a few years ago. Um, the one who introduced me to Star Trek and some other fandom stuff like that. And actually like anime and manga too. So that's a whole nother section. But um I mean my uncle definitely was a comic aficionado. Like he had like if you were were to go into a comic shop, like a huge comic shop, he probably had like half of that store like in a basement. Like he had so much. Like and a lot of them were were signed. He actually made a t-shirt where he had like this like zombie hand coming up with a pen and the the line across says New Miller because you know that's my mother's maiden name New Miller like I'm a quarter German so um anyway and um and so he like anytime he go to conventions and he had like mounds of comic books in his his arms like a big box worth and the guys who had seen him before who knew who he was they'd be like Ugh, like it's no, it's New Miller. Like here he comes. My arm is gonna kill me because of how much he wants me to sign. And it's like, but I pay, I paid for the ticket, so you gotta sign it. So it was that was uh, that was something funny that my uncle would always joke about. How like he actually, I have a T-shirt somewhere that says it, where it's like New Miller. Like no, I don't want to sign all your comic books, but um, so he had a huge collection. Um. I, I didn't really get as much exposure aside from my uncle as far as when I was living in California with my, my parents and my sister. Um, but my dad did enjoy, like, the comic strips in the, the newspaper. So, like, that's what I got to see as far as, like, comics. Um, but eventually, there was a time, I think, a couple times in the 90s when they were doing, like, a promo. And they, they would send home, like, those little, like, short comics. And so they had Spider-Man going. And so... Um, so my dad definitely liked the Spider-Man comics, and and that was something. And he also loved Batman too, because he grew up with you know the the Adam West like Batman and stuff like that. Which I actually got to meet Adam West at Comic Con years years ago. Um, actually, the same year that so two thousand nine. So the two days before I went to uh, Navy boot camp, I got to meet Leonard Nimoy. I also got to meet Adam West, and so he was a sweet guy. And I was, you know, they did a special. Um, a comic special or whatever and it was on netflix actually so my uncle was there and i was just kind of standing next to him just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like i just trying to stay quiet um my part was cut out because i was mostly complaining about them not allowing us to interact with adam west as much so i was upset because i was like i love you adam west anyway um so my dad enjoyed like you know the batman and the spider-man comics like he enjoyed both marvel and dc i think he was more of a dc fan i'm more of a marvel fan Maybe that's why sometimes my dad and I didn't get along. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so I, I wasn't really exposed as a young child to comics. I got into it later, like as, as like middle school and high school and stuff. And, um, my exposure was actually like Witchblade and Tomb Raider. Like I love playing video games as a kid. I always had to, to sneak over to a friend's place to, to play video games. Um, the biggest one that I remember was The Lion King. Anyone who has played the Lion King video game, you know, you know my pain. There's a love-hate relationship. Like, it's a really awesome game, but it's super hard. The one I hate the most was Can't Wait to be King. Oh, the freaking giraffes and the stupid hippos and just ugh, angst, angst, angst. Oh, my gosh. But I had to sneak over to people's place to play video games because my dad did not allow it in the house when I was growing up. So, um... So, like, I, I got exposed to video games, and I got exposed to Tomb Raider, like, the video game. And um, and eventually, like, when I started collecting comics on my own, 
I started actually finding the Tomb Raider comics. So huge fan of Tomb Raider. Like I love all the video games. I really enjoy. <laughs> I like the newer ones. Um, I can't really play video games anymore because of the way my my arm and my shoulder is. Like sometimes it will literally go. Like I can't move my thumb constantly, or, or even my fingers because then that starts to tense up the entire arm. So I can't really play video games anymore. I don't. I don't have a gaming console. In fact, um, anymore. That's one of the, the few things that my ex-husband requested that I send back to him during the middle of divorces. I want my Xbox. Fine, have your stupid Xbox. Jeez, like, you don't want to pay child support. You're kind of a, a jerk and you don't want to be part of our lives. And you don't want to take responsibility. But you want your Xbox. Okay, great, thanks. Because that's all he ever did is play video games. He didn't care about family or any of that crap. But anyway, um, I physically can't play video games right now. Now, eventually, I do want to get a gaming console because I want the kids to be able to enjoy it because I'm not going to, like, cut that out of their lives. I'm waiting till they're a little bit older, though. Um, mostly because I want Connor to be able to enjoy it alongside Big Brother um, because he's so young right now. He's not even two. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I really enjoyed video games. So, like, uh, seeing some of the comics on top of that. Um, so I collected a lot of the, the Tomb Raider ones. So... Now, this is not all of my comics, okay? This is just what I could get out of my storage because all the other comics, like all my Marvel comics and my Fables comics, because I love Fables too, um, I have all those except for I think three, four, and five are like the issues I don't have. But uh, otherwise I have all Fables um, and tons of manga. So I got a bunch of manga too. Um, but those are all in other bigger bins. So like all my Marvel stuff, like including the Marvel Encyclopedia and stuff, that's in another huge bin. So this is all, this is just what was easily accessible to, to show you guys. So, um, now I do, I do love Harley Quinn. So I have collected some Harley Quinn. Um, I plan on collecting more because I love her. Um, but for instance, here is a collection of all Tomb Raider. Yeah. Tomb Raider. Love Tomb Raider. Kind of really sad that, uh, <coughs> they decided to stop that. I'm really sad. Also because Witchblade! I love Witchblade. I love the crossovers between Tomb Raider and Witchblade, too. They're just, mm, I love, I love it because both, both them fatales are, are just, they get along so well. Like, there's, <laughs> they can sometimes be snarky with each other in the middle of a mission, but overall they they get along and i like that i like the the crossovers between those two characters um but uh so i didn't really get to collect a lot until i was like closer to high school and then like when i started college i i was actually able to like you know earn some money to actually go and get that stuff and manga huge manga fan so i'm going to <coughs> kind of swap that in with the comics because even though it's not like american comics it's Japanese comics, technically. Um, uh, and then Manhwa, like the Korean comics. So I like those too. Um, I think, um, I can't remember the name right now. My mind is blinking now that I'm actually on video. But uh, there was one, my like, special Manhwa that I really enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> it was like Heaven Something or Something Heaven or whatever. And it was, it was like the princess of heaven. Supposed to be a prince, but chose to be a princess. And, you know, it was in like... Uh, yeah, it was a really good story. Anyway, um, so yeah, I didn't really have that growing up much, but I kind of got more into it. And so, uh, but yeah, of the Marvel comics, like I, I do have a bunch of Avengers stuff, um, especially like I had some Civil War stuff, um, which is why I was so upset that, that X-Men weren't a part of the MCU because, X-Men does play a, a decent part of the Civil War, you know, like the mutant registration and everything. So, I mean, <coughs> sorry, my allergies still, um, still killing me. Um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, I, I will gripe a little bit about like them not having the rights, like, because I really wanted the X-Men as part of that. Cause I'm just like, darn it. Like they're a really big part of the Marvel universe. Like, so I would really love to see X-Men in the MCU because they were, they were a huge part of that arc. So come on. Um, so I do have some Avengers. I do have some Civil War. I didn't get any of the Infinity stuff comic-wise, but that's just because like um, around the time that it started becoming popular again, like I just had no money for that. So, <coughs> But do have some X-Men stuff. Wolverine's like one of my favorites. I also like Kitty Pride and Storm. So those were like some... Two of the ones that I also enjoyed. Um, 
You know, Phoenix is pretty, she's, she's all right. I mean, she's definitely very powerful. Um, and then Dark Phoenix, whoo, okay. Um, and of course, Professor X, like, I love how Patrick Stewart did that. And I love how Ian McKellen did Magneto, like, oh my goodness. Like, if you're going to pick people to play those characters, they, they're spot on. But anyway, um, and then, but then Deadpool, Deadpool is a huge one. That's one of the, I think, the few things that my ex-husband and I really actually both liked. I really love Deadpool. So, uh, <laughs> so happy, so very happy that Ryan Reynolds finally got what he wanted and what everyone deserved because no one can play Deadpool like Ryan Reynolds. No one. Just, sorry, that's, Ryan Reynolds, you're gonna have to, you know, be immortal and live forever. I mean, you kind of look like you're immortal. You look like you never age but i mean you have to kind of stay forever because you know the world doesn't deserve you but we we need you as as deadpool i'm just saying <laughs> so i absolutely love the deadpool movies they're everything and more of what we need and want and love and so yeah huge deadpool fan love that um i have like a i had a couple that are like the deadpool core um like the the family and stuff like that and then um, the killer, the killer books one where he's trying to kill off, like, main characters and stuff like that in, in, like, classic novels. That, that one I have somewhere up there. That's, like, one of my favorite ones. Um, I had to get rid of a lot of books and comics when I moved, uh, when I was out of the Navy and I had to move down to San Diego from Lemoore, California. I was just getting out. I was pregnant. I, I was going to live with my dad for a little bit because I had nowhere else to go at the time. So I had to get rid of a lot. So I had to really pick and choose. And it's so hard when you finally start getting into comics and, and collecting them. And, you know, so I had to, I had to take a moment and be like, all right, which ones? I did keep the killing joke um, for DC because that was one of my favorites. Um, so I do on the DC side. I, I mean, you know, I, I like Wonder Woman, I do, and Superman's cool too. My ex-husband hates Superman. And I'm not entirely sure why exactly. Like he seemed to say that he he thought that he was just too powerful or too good or whatever. It was like if you really read some of the comics though, he's not always good. There are like infinite, you know, <laughs> timelines and universes and stuff like that. There are different versions of Superman. So if you're talking about the original one, maybe, like, yeah, he's all powerful and great. But there are lots of different incarnations of Superman. And there are times when we had debates on which one would win, Goku or Superman. But my biggest argument is, which incarnation of Superman? Which incarnation of Goku are we talking about? That makes a difference. It, some people will try to argue it doesn't, but it does. It makes a difference. So... I wasn't able to have as much Superman or, um, you know, uh, all that stuff. I wasn't able to have as much of that around because my ex-husband hates Superman. I'm just, like, frustrated because I'm just, like, I got all the Keanu Reeves, uh, like, you know, Superman collection. So he's my favorite Superman. I'm sorry. Everyone else who's ever played him after, I'm sorry. But he's my favorite. <laughs> um, so I didn't really have comics of Superman lying around because my ex-husband. Uh, but anyway, uh, but I do love Wonder Woman. Um uh, uh, Gal did an amazing job. Like, I'm so excited that, you know, they rebooted it finally. And, you know, I think they, they chose the right person for that. So that's awesome. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I definitely, I didn't start getting into comics until later, but, uh, when I did get into comics, uh, yeah, I collected mostly Marvel, some DC. So I didn't really, I had like maybe a couple Wonder Woman, but mostly I had Batman, you know, cause that's, I grew up with uh, Batman the Animated Series and, you know, so Kevin Conrad and, and Mark Hamill and, you know, like, so these were the guys that I grew up with. So if I'm going to do comics of DC, it's going to be mostly like Batman and stuff like that. Um, but sometimes Wonder Woman, you know, so that's, but I still am definitely mostly a Marvel person. It's a Marvel fan. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. So I don't want any haters coming in here, you know, keep, Keep your crap to yourself, okay? You know, I'm not going to hate on you for being more of a DC fan if you are. If you are, great. I'm glad that you love it that much. I'm just lean a little bit more towards Marvel. And that's just how I feel. So, no hating, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm... I just noticed now that I'm, like, doing this with my pen. But um, I do it much better with my, like, my right side. 
I'm twisting the pen. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's just barely a smidge of my actual comics, but I did have to get rid of a lot of them when I moved. And so all of that, all of my, the books that I got rid of, um, I had to, uh, get rid of, and I donated more than 400 books and comics together. And so I donated to the Escondido Public Library. I don't know if all of them were kept, but I know that whatever wasn't put into circulation, they could just, you know, sell at book stuff. But um, if you're going to donate, like, books and stuff like that, or comics or whatever, just, you know, and graphic novels, because I had a lot of graphic novels, too, um, definitely go to the library. You know, it's... The more content they have, you know, it, the more variety it might help with the patronage. And you need patronage for libraries to be around. And libraries were kind of a sanctuary place for me growing up. So I definitely urge people that if you have to get rid of books or comics or you have to kind of cull the, you know, the stock that you have, libraries is the place to go for that. So that's what I did. So they, so at least for, especially for the ones that were in good condition, they found a good home in a library. So that's where they went. But, uh. But yeah, comics, I definitely, um, I definitely wasn't into as much, when, uh, except for when I got older. Now, now I'm probably going to buy more, not just Avengers, but buy more Spider-Man because as I said, like the, the little promo Spider-Man comics that I got from the newspapers when I was a kid, those were the ones that my dad kept around the house and I really did enjoy Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Um. Not to hate on anyone who's ever played him, but Tom Holland actually is my favorite Spider-Man. Because I, I really think he definitely embodies that kid, ver like that teenage version of Spider-Man. Um, you know, he definitely embodies that. And uh, he's like my favorite Spider-Man. So, um, but also because uh, Alan is a huge Spider-Man fan. He's a huge Spider-Man fan. Um, he also loves Iron Man. Like, uh... <clears throat> Alan is the kid that you tell him not to watch something, he's going to watch it anyway when you're not looking, because that's what kids do. Um, he's five years old. He knows better, but he's still going to. So there have been times when I, so I have all my movies sectioned off, and I have like all my Disney and my Hay Hayao Miyazaki films in one big binder, and then I've got my alternate movies and other genres in another binder and then of course I've got like the the box sets you know up there um but then I also have little um pamphlet thing you know little binders and one of them is superhero ones and I'm gonna have to get another one because I have too many so, like there I have more than what would fit in there because I have all the superhero Marvel and DC mixed together in there and so uh one of those is Iron Man now I have that um that tin cover that I got, like, back then when Iron Man, the first Iron Man came out. And so I got that exclusive, like, cover, you know. And so Alan found that one time, and he decided to watch it. And then he decided that, aside from Spider-Man, Iron Man was his ultimate favorite. He loved Iron Man. He loves Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Um, now, I've had to be careful because as some of the movies have come out, they've become a little bit more graphic. So, <clears throat> Definitely had to be careful now. I'm definitely planning on getting some more Spider-Man and Iron Man comics and Avenger comics uh, as he gets older because he's requested that. And I'm not going to deny him. It's just I want to get the age-appropriate stuff. Um, especially since he can't read yet. We're still we're still teaching him how to read. So when he when Alan is able to actually read and and you know, like he doesn't need help reading, then I will probably buy more comics for him too. Like, not just age-appropriate, but just more comics in general. So right now, he doesn't. I don't really have a lot of Spider-Man and Iron Man. I have a few Avengers, but it's more of the Civil War arc. Um, so I'm definitely... I'm going to help him along once he gets there. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, he definitely enjoyed Into the Spider-Verse. So he loves Miles Morales as Spider-Man. He loves all the Spider-Mans. He doesn't discriminate. My child does not. So he, he loves them all. He thinks they're all amazing. So I love that. Um, he's also... So recently, uh, now my Uncle Jeff, his favorite was Captain America. That was his ultimate favorite. Like, he loved Captain America. And, um, and he really enjoyed all the movies up in... So, you know, he, he passed away. Um, and uh, and so Alan, now he loves all the Avengers. He does. Like, Spider-Man and Iron Man may have been, like, his top. But he's also started putting Captain America in there. So he has, like, one of those little, um, uh, like, little beanies or whatever, little iron uh, 
Captain America one. He did have an Iron Man one. I don't know what happened to it. Um, during the move, it's packed away somewhere. So he has an Iron Man one. I haven't got him a Spider-Man one yet. Mostly because I haven't found one in stores every time I went. So I found the Iron Man one. I found the, the Captain America one. I found a Hulk one. I don't know where that one went either. Um, so he likes the Hulk. He likes all the Avengers. But his top were Spider-Man and Iron Man. So those were the comics that he requested. But now he's starting to request Captain America. So I'm like, okay. All right. You know, I'll, I'll start getting some Captain America stuff in there. Um, he used to pronounce Captain America in the really most adorable way when he was a baby. Uh, when he was like a toddler. Uh, the way he says like Captain America, like that's how he pronounced it. And it was just really cute. So, um, so I have a video of that. Actually, I finally got that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start getting more comics like that as, as he gets older and starts to be able to read better. Um, cause I mean, he's only five, like we're, we're teaching him how to read right now, but I can tell you that by the time he's six and he's seven, he can read more. I will start being able to actually get those comics for him. So, um, I may not have grown up with comics as a, a forefront, but I definitely got into them more, and I am a super fan of comics. Um, I I definitely enjoy Marvel more than DC, but I, I will read DC. Um, I also liked the the Michael Turner's Fathoms, like I uh, or Fathom, like I really enjoyed that series. And I'm very sad that by the time I discovered it, he'd already passed, and I was like, no, I would have loved to have met him. Like he seemed like a really awesome guy, and it was an amazing work. Um, I did get to meet, uh, not like in person person as far as like signing, but I did get to meet Stan Lee. He was actually walking past in, uh, San Diego Comic-Con and, uh, he was, it, this was years ago, of course, this was like 2006 or something like that, or 2005, 2006 when I saw him and I was in line for something, I don't remember what, and he was just, he was on his way to a panel and he was just, he was like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm sorry guys, I gotta go, like, thank you so much for your love, and I was like, oh my god, Stanley, like, ah, and, and someone, like, a little kid was in a Spider-Man costume, and it was so cute, and they were just like, like, oh, oh, Stan Lee, like, that's Stan Lee, and he's just like, hi, a kid, and he waved to the kid as he's going by, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm late for the panel, and he waved to that kid, and it was just one of those moments where you guys are like, that is so cute, and so I'm just like, oh my gosh, even though I didn't get to, like, meet meet him i still got to see him walk by me like not even a foot away from me and he's like waving to a cute little kid inspired my costume this is like before you know the first iron man came out this is before like the marvel movies like hit big but it was still exciting so i think that kind of revamped my love for for comics as well like i had been taking a break from comics that year because i was going more into manga and stuff uh especially since i was taking japanese in, in college but um don't ask me anything now. I don't know any Japanese now. <laughs> I am out of practice by like over a decade. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, it's, it was one of those moments that you, you remember forever. You're just like, oh my gosh. So I, I definitely started getting more into comics again after that. Um, so I mean, definitely Witchblade and Tomb Raider were two of my biggest ones when I was starting out. So I'm really sad that they're not doing more. Um, <laughs> I need to become rich so I can like buy them all. <laughs> buy all the ones that I don't have. I need to become like super rich so that I can buy all the books and manga and, and comics that I want in the world. And then like buy an extra copy so I can give it to a library <laughs> so that other people can enjoy it just as much. Um, but yeah, that's my daily challenge. This is the one that I like is uh, comics. I'm a huge comic nerd. I love comics. And uh as we start getting more settled where we're at, I am definitely going to start buying more comics, especially the ones that Alan really loves. And Connor's still, you know, he's still new. He's not even two years old. So he he enjoys watching anything Marvel DC. Like, I got some of those cartoon, like, uh, animated series. And I got one of the ones that, like, the Avengers, like, um, TV show. So I got, like, two of those discs from Goodwill. So uh, Alan's been watching that like crazy. Um, and so Connor will watch anything that Big Brother watches. So he, he seems to enjoy those movies and into the Spider-Verse, they watch that a lot. Uh, so, so yeah, they definitely, they're definitely watching this stuff and they seem to enjoy it, but Connor hasn't shown an interest yet, um, in much of the same stuff as brother cause he's still too young. Uh, but I'm hoping that when he starts to get older, he can start showing more interest in certain things like certain books and stuff. He seems to love books. He loves me reading to him, but he hasn't shown interest towards like comics specifically. So maybe when Connor's older, 
I'll look at it again and see like, hey, brothers into these comics, like, do you want to get into them as well? Um, and if, and you know what? Here's the other thing too. If Connor ends up liking DC more than Marvel, I will still love him and I'm not going to judge him. So even though I'm more of a Marvel person, you know, my kid can be DC as well and that is fine. So <laughs> for all those haters out there, I know there are trolls out there who are just like, ah, Marvel and DC, which one's better? They're both amazing for their own reasons, okay? Just leave it at that. Just, that's it. I'm still more Marvel, though. I'm still, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because Deadpool. I think maybe that's what it is. Deadpool just, Deadpool wins and everything and because he's Marvel. That's, that's my argument. I'm sticking to it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, this is long. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.